Hey, what's going on, you guys? Your boy S Review coming in with another video, and this is gonna be a, a little discussion. My thoughts on the new revolution, so-called revolution or tsunami, neo tsunami, as you want to call it. That's gonna be on. Um, I think they're gonna be doing streaming and everything. You know, it's basically a fan made fan made project that they're gonna be doing. I don't know if it's trying to capture the attention of Time Warner or Turner Broadcast to get Toonami back on the air, but it's basically just a fan-made project. I don't know what the logic of this is. I feel like it's a fail already because based on the stuff that I've seen, you know, it has me thinking, okay, this is not gonna last long. I'm gonna give you some examples why. But uh, how I came across this thing, uh, I seen something in my recommendation box. I don't know if somebody favorited a video of Neo Toonami. They have their own channel, so I'm gonna link it in the description, but Somebody favorited a video. I think it came out on the second of this month, and it was basically like it showed a cool little. I don't know how can I say this. You know how tsunami goes into that little, you know, that mode where they advertise like different animes and stuff where they show the ship and just zooming across space or whatever, and you know it has that cool cool little OST to it, that, that cool beat, that laid back beat, which is pretty good. I, I have to give them that. They they captured the essence perfectly. I like the essence. I like the atmosphere. They captured it. They got all that right. They got it nailed down to the teeth. You can tell these are some true fans of Toonami. They know what they're doing. But, uh, show the ship, and all of a sudden, they show Tom. I kind of laughed. I chuckled at this because I that. Like at first when I saw the Neo Toonami video, man, I thought it was like a real, real deal thing. I didn't do my research until after the video I saw it. And um show time and the, the the graphics design that they got on this dude is kinda laughable because first of all, the, the, the dude's fingers ain't even moving at all. It looks like he's on crystal meth or something, like he can't even do anything. Like his body can he barely has any options on what movements he wants to make. So that, that lets you know that this is a fan-made project. Um, <laughs> you know, he's talking to everything. He's like, it's been a long time since you see me. Uh, new look, new things, new animatronic ball sack. Uh, we have a lot of lineups. You know, he's talking whoop de whoop whoop whoop. Then um, they show like this whole thing. He pretty much tells you about the Neo Toonami project. And um, the lineups that they have. And looking at it, I saw some kind of voting system. I think they're going to have a voting system on things that the people vote for. I think they're going to feature dubbed animes as well as subbed animes. If I saw it clear enough, I think that's what they're going to feature. Like a voting system. And, um, you know, on the information that I did read on, this is, this is only, this is not, like, uh, it's not sponsored by Tom Warner. It's not going to be Turner Broadcast. It's not going to be broadcasting on TV, so... Let's get that out the window. It's streaming. It's only gonna be streaming. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have their own website because they ain't gonna be able to do it on YouTube. But it's gonna be a streaming. And that right there has fell written all over. It has fell in quotations. Because one, you can't stream all the stuff that the, the fans want. You, if you want people to get into this, you gotta like dedicate it to the fans and you gotta have a legit site that's gonna be able to stream the stuff that we want. And what I think this whole thing is, you know, people want that nostalgia. It's a, like a nostalgic factor that people go for. I don't think you're going to capture the older audience that used to watch Toonami, but you'll probably capture the younger audience. you probably capture some older people that want that nostalgia back. But I don't think you're going to capture the, the audience that you're craving to capture. You're not going to capture everybody. You'll probably capture the younger people. And, you know, they, uh, they gave a line up like a... Um, other stuff that they do have right now that they put for show or they don't get caught up on when it comes to piracy. You have Powerpuff Girl Z, which isn't, I don't think that's gonna appeal to anybody because it doesn't have that feel of the old Powerpuff Girls. It was basically, it was just like an animated version of the Powerpuff Girls with fingers and shit. And, you know, that animated look. I guess it's a Japanese version of a. Uh, Powerpuff Girls, if you want to say. It doesn't have that look of it. Everybody looks goofy and campy as hell. And you have, um, what else you have? One Piece, which they say, you know, it's not really that big. That's what 
I'm just telling you what Tom was saying, the, the new Tom. They even got Steve Bloom voice for this Tom. Yeah, he's like saying that, uh, that they're trying to use One Piece, you know, One Piece is trying to become the new Dragon Ball Z, which it is kind of, it's kind of the new Dragon Ball Z. It's number one in Japan, but I don't know how that's going to go. Because you remember Funimation, man, they went ape shit on fans who were trying to torn, I think, episode, uh, what was that, episode 400? They tried to torrent that and they, they suing, they suing these kids for torrenting and downloading those, that episode. I don't know what the, in, if they're in the process of still doing it or not. But, uh, yeah, man, um, I don't know. Uh, let's get back to the list, though. You have Spider-Man, the, the spectacular Spider-Man that aired on WB. You have X-Men that aired on Fox. And what else you have? Dragon Ball Z and they showed something else uh, Gurren Lagann now granted this isn't something that we haven't already seen before we've seen all this stuff before so I'm not impressed I don't think you should, You guys should be impressed you guys should be more concerned on how they're going to go about doing this we've seen all these shows we've seen Gurren Lagann on Sci-Fi Channel we've seen Spectacular Spider-Man on TV already. We've seen all those shows on TV. Now, if they want to grasp the, the complete audience, they want to grasp me, they want to get my attention, they're going to have to do some shit that Toonami used to do. Because Toonami, you know, back when the internet wasn't all that popular and they weren't streaming that many animes, Toonami brought new, fresh animes to the table. You got to bring new, fresh animes to get my attention. Stuff that I ain't already seen me. I mean, I ain't already seen before. You have to get that up in there so I can at least be interested, you know, and I'll buy the bot six of these animes that you're showing. Um, you have to show me something original. I don't want to see shit that I've already seen before that I have access on streaming, like streaming networks. It's easy. We have easy access to these things. The internet has become the number one source for finding things. It's the number one source for entertainment almost. I, I'm guessing it is. TV is still big, but I don't really watch TV anymore. I'm not a TV person. I basically just look on the internet. So you're gonna have to give give us some stuff that hasn't been revealed. And for one, you're gonna have to give me some dubs, man. Like I want to see dubs that I ain't never heard from. And uh, judging on the whole, you know, what you guys are doing. I like the voice work on Tom. It's not perfect. It's not anywhere close to Steve Bloom's voice work. It doesn't even sound like Steve Bloom. I think y'all need to get me to do Steve Bloom. Uh, I, I, I do a perfect Tom, man, for real. Stay golden. Yo. Yeah, but anyways, I digress. Um, you guys, you got to give me some, some stuff, man. Dub, if y'all good enough, y'all going to have to bring some underrated animes on there. Shit that we ain't never seen before. Shit that people aren't aware of aware of you're gonna have to have um, you're probably gonna have to get some animes that ain't even been licensed up in America that you know you can get away with because um, the shit y'all showing that I can watch these on streaming sites I can watch if I wanted to I can watch a whole season of spectacular spider-man on Netflix uh, X-Men 2 I can watch that on Netflix Dragon Ball Z I can watch that on Netflix I can buy these episodes on the PSN if I wanted to. So you're not grasping the older audience, if you know what I mean. The people that are aware that they have access to these things. You're going to get the, the younger generation because it's about the nostalgia. It's more of the lines along, about the nostalgia factor that people just don't want to don't want to let go. And, um, yeah, man, I don't know. I'm going to tell you some other things that you guys are going to get right. You're going to have to get the whole essence of Toonami. you got to get the fans involved. If you want this to be a success, you got to get the fans involved. you got to get the fans what they want. I want cool OSTs. And you need the cool beats that Toonami used to have. You have to go into like these video montages. That's another thing that Toonami had. It was the atmosphere of Toonami that made it feel good to be alive at that time. Those montages were perfect. You had like a... Your montage is like dreams, you know, when they show uh, Gene Starwin and Dragon Ball Z characters. You have Gohan and everybody like mixed up in this cool music video that you be getting a cool vibe off of. It's kind of like a, 
I don't know how can I explain it. It's kind of like a fucking subliminal message, like when you see it because you zone out. You guys remember when I'm talking about that dream video, like when, um, uh, what's that chick's name? I forget the name, but when she's talking to, um, Gene, he's like, are you just going to keep running away? And Gene gets up in the, kind of, in the camera like, just keep running away. I'm not running. You know what I'm talking about. You know, just those montages, man. Those random assortment of montage videos that they do. You have to get that up in there. Fan submissions on artwork. Toonami had a lot of uh, fan art submissions that they did. You have to get that up in there. You have to montage off of that. Oh, what else? What else? Reviews. Video game reviews. You have to give give us great reviews on video games. If you want the total essence of Toonami. If you want me fully interested in this. You have to give us reviews, montages, fan art submissions. Get them up in there. Give us animes that we ain't never seen before. I'll throw you one. I'll give you one that, that's kind of underrated. That's been a while for a while, but it's underrated. I'm pretty sure that you'll have legal rights to because I think uh, it was licensed by Genion and I don't think Genion is a company anymore because they went out of business so you that's another thing you have to get, get animes that you know they don't have a company to like Genion and what I want to get give us a Hajime no Ippo put Hajime no Ippo up in there I'm pretty sure fans will eat that shit up because it's a popular series and if you real cold with it and I'm requesting that you do this if you see this video try to dub some episodes if you can since you have good voice voice workers and everything and you're pretty much doing a good job on Tom and the narrators dub some episodes for Hajime no Ippo new challenger if you think you're such badasses that'll be awesome that would be great because they don't have a license for that yet they already streaming that like it ain't nothing on YouTube you know, it, it ain't licensed, so dub that or show it so any way you want to. Oh yeah, and another thing, they they talking about they gonna give us a new Sarah. Sarah gonna have a new look, so I'm kind of eager to see what that looks like before they fail and get shut down. But I don't know. I'm just rambling on. But I, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Give you guys give your thoughts. Do you think it's gonna be awesome, or is it just for the nostalgia factor that people want to go for? Do you think they're gonna last long? Make sure that you check the channel out. I'll link a description and um, see if you guys can favorite this video. Get it out to them. Give my thoughts on it. You know, you know, if if you want to, if you want to favorite, you know, give a link to this video and let me see. You know, what they trying to go for. So, like I said, I don't think it's gonna last long. But that's basically all I want to talk about. Neo tsunami just revolution this movement whatever that they're trying to do they don't really you know I don't think they're gonna make it yeah but this was your boy S review coming at you with a video I'll see you guys later peace